one minute quick video. This is my heretical pesto. This pesto breaks all the rules. I got a big box of basil. That is the bottom portion here. I washed it. I dumped the whole thing in. I did not remove the stems. Why? Because our primary concern is nutrition. Then I got a big box of baby arugula. That's this layer. And I threw about 75% of that whole box in. Then, the little bit right here, I got a big box of deep leafy greens that includes chard, kale, and a whole bunch of other good ones. And I threw a handful of that in. Then, I packed in pumpkin seeds, walnuts, and cashews. The cashews are going to make it creamy. Uh, very important if you're vegan and you're looking to make a pesto like this. Cashews will really enliven your pesto. Salt, pepper, two cloves of garlic, uh, a smidge of lemon. It's actually about a third of a lemon. Olive oil, and we're done. Again, that is basil. Don't worry about the stems. Baby arugula, already pre-washed. I bought it in the box. Handful of dark leafy greens, just for the added nutrients. I have pumpkin seeds. I just did a coating. I did cashews just did a coating i did walnuts just did a coating salt pepper a third of a lemon make sure you don't throw the seeds in and olive oil you need a lot of olive oil you're going to go ahead and blend it and here's the deal if you have too many nuts or too much greens you might need more oil just add more oil if it starts to get stuck your food processor i have a really powerful one uh, by Breville. It's called the Sous Chef. It's fantastic. If you don't have a powerful food processor, add a little bit of oil or a touch of water and blend it until it's smooth. Now you can also use a Vitamix for this sort of job as well. It'll work just fine. Um, this is going to make enough pesto that I'll be able to use it in a few different things, including pasta, including on top of a veggie burger, or maybe just on toast uh, for lunch. Super easy. Don't worry about the rules. Break all the rules. It's definitely not Italian. So just go ahead. If you have something else you want to throw in, throw it in. Uh, you may need more garlic. If you want a little spice, you may need a, a chili pepper. And you're probably, if, you're, if your nuts are not salted, you're going to need to add a good bit of salt. Here is your finished product. Uh, get a spoonful, maybe not quite this big. Taste it, add more salt if you need to, add more pepper, throw in a little chili if you want it spicier, throw in more garlic or lemon. That's how you're gonna season something like this with garlic, lemon, salt, and pepper. Uh, again, it's gonna be super nutritious, and this is way more than I'll need for some pasta, but it's gonna be super if I put it in the refrigerator, it'll keep for a little bit, and I can use it the next day and the day after.